In this Douglas College Library tutorial, we'll explore some strategies for navigating different style guides. Students are often surprised to learn that different styles have different rules for how to format your paper and all your citations. The good news is that the library has detailed guides for the most commonly used styles, and they're all organized in a very similar way. Once you learn how to navigate one of our style guides, you'll be able to navigate the others with confidence. Your instructor may assign a specific style for you to follow, or you may be permitted to choose a style. No matter what style you use, make sure to do so consistently throughout your paper, for example, in the margins, line spacing, and format of the cover page, in the footnotes or in-text citations, and in your final list of references. If you've never used a style guide before, it can be confusing to navigate. Let's start with our APA online guide. You'll notice a lot of tabs here, but there is a simple method for deciding what to click first. First, you'll want to tackle who wrote or created the source. So ask yourself, does it have a single author or multiple authors? Is the author unknown, anonymous, or writing under a username? Or is there an editor? You'll usually find the rules for formatting all these options in the Books or the Articles tab. If you click the Books tab, you'll see a general book template, and then specific rules for writing out author names for one author, two authors, and publications that have up to 20 authors. It also covers how to handle works with no authors, and what to do if an organization is the author, for example, the American Psychiatric Association. The rules set out here are identical for any type of source you use, including blogs, magazines, or academic journal articles. If you click the Articles tab, you'll see that it also starts with a general template, then repeats the rule from the Books tab for citing up to 20 authors, and adds advice for 21 plus authors. For one or two authors, just follow what it says under the Books tab. Pay special attention to any text that's written in red. It's always really important and will make it even easier to understand what you're supposed to do. The MLA guide is very similar. Click the Books tab to find out how to cite one author, corporate authors, multiple authors, and when there are no authors. The rule for two authors is identical to the rule for two editors. That is, type out the first author's last name, comma, first name, and second author's last name, first name. Now that you know where to find the rules for citing the authors for your sources, you'll need to look at the type of source you used. Is it an article, a book, a video? something you heard in a lecture, or maybe something you encountered on social media. You'll find the rules for citing different types of sources by clicking the relevant tab in the online guide. For example, see Chicago's rules for citing social media by clicking the social media tab. If you can't find an example for the type of source you need to cite, be really careful about going on the internet for the answer. There are a lot of random citation sites that aren't affiliated with a library or writing center, and there's no guarantee that the information they churn out will be accurate. A much better option is to see if what you need to know has been covered on the style's official blog. For example, both APA and MLA's blogs are filled with suggestions and advice for how to cite unusual sources. For example, let's see if MLA's blog has some guidance on citing an infographic. Ah. Looks like it sure does. Finally, don't forget to cite your sources twice. First in text in the body of your paper, and then in your final list of references. For more information, see the library's tutorial, Elements of a Citation, in our YouTube channel. In this Douglas College Library tutorial, we looked at several of our online citation guides and discussed how to find the rules you need to properly cite your authors, and most of the different types of resources you're likely to use, both in the body of your paper and in your final list of references. For more information about how to cite, check out the library's How to Cite portal. If you need any further help with choosing, locating, or using a style manual, you can contact a librarian by clicking the Ask a Librarian link on the library homepage.